Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Going to have another one of the candies from the Steveston Sweet Shop. Uh, this is with thanks to my friend Natalie who works there. Uh, she managed to recommend a few for me to buy and try out. And I've been doing a few of these videos, trying out some old retro stuff from back when I was a kid or even didn't even have when I was a kid. Now I get the chance to thanks to the Steveston Sweet Shop. Uh, this time I'm going to try one that has a very obscure and weird and philosophical connection to Vancouver, which is where we're at. Um, so first of all, what are we having? Well, this is Swedish Fish, a candy that I know nothing about. I've heard of it, but never really, in, never really partaken of it. I don't even know, is this a fish flavored thing or is it like, uh, I'm guessing, well, I do see sugar is one of the first uh, items on the ingredients list there. So it's not, it's not fish flavored. I'm assuming it must be like a cherry kind of a thing. Oh yeah. Soft, chewy candy. Okay. Now, um, how is, what's made me interested in this and how is there a philosophical or a Vancouver connection to this? Well, there's a big, big YouTuber in Vancouver called JJ McCullough, who has, I think nearly a million subscribers. Uh, he does a wide, wide variety of largely political videos or philosophical videos or gaming retro stuff. He's, um, he's a very interesting guy. I love watching his stuff. And a little while ago, uh, back in March, he did a video about is hyper, is reality too artificial? Um, because there are a lot of symbols that are used in everyday life that have been modified and are almost extrapolated so far beyond what they originally represented that they have no meaning. And it makes for quite an interesting video. Now, it's kind of political, so if that's uh, not something you're interested in, I wouldn't recommend you check it out. But otherwise, if you want some to, uh, kind of food for thought, literally in the case of this Swedish fish, check out the J.J. McCullough video. I'll put a link down below. Now, this particular uh, Swedish fish connection is actually due to one of the uh, art elements in the video there was this strange connection to Swedish fish, the candy, flavored Oreo cookies. And uh, when I saw that Natalie's Sweet Shop has the, or the Steveston Sweet Shop, has uh, Swedish fish in it, I thought, you know what? In reference to that J.J. McCullough video, I want to try out what is the actual candy like, because I've never heard, had them, never really heard of them until I saw that video. And I thought, right, let's uh, give them a whirl. So let's try some Swedish fish. I notice it's got a little perforated edge there. So let's rip it open. And do they come out? Oh, they're packaged. Wait a minute, do I open this? Well, I'm doing it now. I don't know what the right way is. As per the video where uh, my nieces showed me the correct way to open modern packaging, like for Fig Newtons, this could be a totally non-intuitive way to open this box, but I'm doing it this way. Aha! Okay, so it is a standard kind of bag full of little candies. How the heck do they figure? About three servings? What? It says three servings. There's no way this is three servings. This is a lot. All right, let's try it out. Okay, these look like licorice type uh, candies here. So, all right, there we go. So there is the fish, the Swedish fish. Does it actually say, in the same way this thing says Swedish on it, I don't see the word written anywhere. Is it on the back? Nope. So it's just a fish shaped candy. All right, uh, I have no idea what to expect here. So let's take a bite. Mmm, oh, those are nice. Okay, they're uh, basically like licorice, but softer. Almost like a gummy bear or a jelly baby. Any Doctor Who fans watching will enjoy that reference. Yeah, it has, it's softer. Let me get another one. They're softer than licorice. Like very pliable. Oops, I dropped it. Uh, very pliable. But it's, you know, so it's got a good chew on it, a flavor that I think I've encountered before. It's, it's essentially a um, cherry flavor. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, gummy bear slash jelly baby. 
uh, maybe thicker than a gummy bear, takes a little bit more to chew, and not quite as hard as a jelly baby, that sort of in-between area. Let's have another one. Mm-hmm. Oh, those are nice. Those are very, very tasty. Good on you, Sweden. Your fish tastes delicious. So what is actually the flavor, or what's, what's the story here? Am I getting red? Sugar, inverted sugar, corn syrup, modified corn starch. <laughs> is there anything real in this? Contains less than 2% of citric acid, white mineral oil, natural and artificial flavor. Well, there you go. Quickly followed by red number 40. And carnuba wax. Mmm, mmm. Oh, delicious. Made in Turkey? What? But it's Swedish fish. It's not Turkish fish. Hmm. But they certainly are a delight. <clears throat> anyway. Contains a bioengineered food ingredient. Uh, sound again kind of scary. Uh, okay. That's... What a, what a strange combination. You know what? J.J. McCullough is right. This thing is pretty disconnected from reality already as a treat. And then you stick it into Oreo cookies? What? Hmm. I'll have one more of this um, about three servings bag. Very nice, though. I do like them. They're, they're, they go down quite easily, and I'm quite enjoying the flavor of them. Never heard of them before. Wait a minute. Swedish fish brand? So are they not... Is this not Swedish fish? Is this labeled as Swedish fish brand box of treats? Uh, I don't understand... I don't understand uh, labeling laws or anything like that. Right. Anyway, one last one for the road. Very tasty. I like those. Those are very, very nice. If you like red licorice, you're pretty much not far off with this. Okay, there are Swedish Fish brand Swedish Fish uh, from the Stevenson Sweet Shop. This has been quite an interesting little discovery. Again, if you, uh, if you want to take an interesting sort of direction down labeling, representation, and iconography, check out J.J. McCullough's video. If you like his style of stuff, I do recommend him. I mean, he doesn't need a shout out from me. He's got way more subscribers than most, but... Um, he does a lot of very interesting stuff, and this was one that I just thought, oh, now that I see that this stuff is in the Steveston Sweet Shop, i got to try it out, thanks to J.J. McCullough. Okay, well, until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.